MMOs. I play them. I play a lot of them. Probably too much. How much is too much? I'll never know how much is too much until my wife finally leaves me. Then I'll know. That was probably too much. Today, Rift. I know, I know. This game came out well over a year ago at this point, but I still play it, and that makes it relevant. Right? Right? With Rift's first expansion, Storm Legion, coming out, I figured now was the best time to tell you how awesome I think this game is. Definitely wasn't paid by trying at all to promote this game, but if they'd like to pay me, I wouldn't be opposed. Give me monies. I mean, I am not a sellout. At launch, I nearly dismissed Rift as another clone of a certain game I refuse to mention. You know the one I'm talking about. That one? From Blizzard? The so-called... World? Of Warcraft? Son of a bitch! I finally picked up this game a year after it was released or so, and was surprised to find something terribly refreshing. Unlike other MMOs, Rift knows exactly what it is and plays to it. For you lore and story hounds out there, there are thousands of quests dedicated specifically to lore and story. Even in-game content called Chronicles that continue the story at in-game. You all have fun with that. Other MMO gamers, myself included, just want to get to the action. Lore? Pfft. Story? Pfft. If I wanted those, I'd read a book. I'm just kidding, who reads anymore, am I right? They just slow the game down. I want to kill stuff, get to endgame, and kill some massive bosses for fat loots. Did I just say fat loots? Oh, God. <laughs> That's what MMOs are all about. That and grouping with other people. I guess. Hence the second M in MMO. Multiplayer. For us action junkies, Rift implemented instant adventures. Hop into the game, grab this one little quest, and join an adventure. Sure, they're mostly kill quests, but so what? That's just what you'd be doing in a normal storyline quest. At least this way, I don't have to run around a city to gather quests, then run across a huge freaking map just to kill the monster, and then run all the way back just to turn it in. Waste of time. And what if there's no one near level on? Not a problem. You mentor down to a lower level, and guess what? Combine that with instant adventures, you still get level-appropriate experience and loot. This makes playing in long or short sessions a breeze. In fact, the entire leveling experience with instant adventures and some dungeoning will put you at max level in close to a week. You were originally presented with four base classes, warrior, rogue, mage, or cleric. But from there, they branch off to provide for tons of customization, allowing for hybrid classes, such as a cleric tank, a cleric healer, a cleric DPS, and a cleric support class. Oh, and you can also have rogues, mages, and warriors. But who cares? Clerics! Oh, and the developers of this game, Tryon, have a great sense of humor. Just look at this chicken dance. If you get this, then you, sir, know comedy. Now, as much as I love this game, I do have some gripes. For one, as great as the graphics are in this game, why on earth can I not make a male character that looks well, halfway decent? Seriously, this is the best I can do, and he still looks like he had to use a second-rate plastic surgeon after an extensive run-in with, well, this guy. Another big one for me is how enemies aggro. The world itself is practically brimming with enemies, which I don't personally find to be a bad thing. What I do find to be a bad thing is that no matter what level you are, these things will lock onto you like a homing missile and then proceed to annoy the f*** out of you. Why can a level 11 fairy knock a level 50 off his mount? Obviously, this monster has no self-preservation instinct. If he did, I wouldn't feel compelled to wipe his species off the face of the world. <laughs> that was a rabbit. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! PvP. I don't do PvP, but from what I hear, it's broken. That's what I hear, at least. I don't really care. Lastly, this game is not a mold breaker. If you are looking for something completely new and different, this is not it. Rift is classic MMO. However, in my opinion, Rift is the most well-rounded, polished, and best-defined classic MMO on the market today, and it deserves your attention.